So this is the common iliac on the right side, dividing into the external iliac and the internal iliac. And it's accompanied by the respective veins. This is supine cadaver, female cadaver. The narration is from the right side, the camera person is on the left side. So let's focus on the internal iliac to see the distribution of the internal iliac inside the pelvis on the right side. We can see that the internal iliac is dividing into two principal divisions. This is one division which we have picked up here. This is the anterior division and this is the posterior division. So let's take a look at the branches of the anterior division. The first branch, this one that we can see here, this is the obliterated umbilical artery and you can see it is fibrosed. This is the one which forms the medial umbilical ligament. That's the distal part of the umbilical artery. The proximal part of the umbilical artery is patent and we can see it is giving branches. These are the superior vesicle arteries which supply the bladder from the dome of the bladder. So next branch is this one. This is the uterine artery and we can see it is going to the uterus. And the important relationship of the uterine artery is this structure which is going right under that. This is the ureter. So the mnemonic that we use to remember this is water runs under the bridge. Water being the ureter and the bridge being the uterine artery. So that is the second branch. The third branch is supposed to be the operator artery but in this case we see an anatomical variation. This is the operator nerve that we see here and accompanying this operator nerve we have this artery here. This is the operator artery. In this particular case, the operator artery is not arising from the anterior division. It is coming from the posterior division of the internal iliac. And it is going through the operator canal in the operator membrane. So this is the supposedly the third division of the anterior division of the internal iliac. Now let's look deeper. We see this artery here. This is the inferior gluteal artery, which comes out of the greater sciatic foramen below the pyriformis. And accompanying that, we have this artery here. This is the internal pudendal artery, which also exits through the greater sciatic foramen and re-enters the perineum through the lesser sciatic foramen. Now let's take a look at the posterior division. And this is the posterior division. We can see that the posterior division is giving this branch here. This is the iliolumbar artery. The next branch, as I already mentioned, is the operator artery, which should not be coming from the posterior division, but it is coming. The next branch that we can see here is this one, running medially. This is the lateral sacral. And finally, the main posterior division we can see is going inside, and my instrument has also gone in. That is the superior gluteal artery, which comes out from the greater sciatic foramen above the piriformis. So these are all the branches of the internal iliac that we can see on the right side with its anatomical variations. Thank you very much for watching. Dr. Sanjay Sanyal signing out. If you have any questions or comments, please put them in the comment section below. Have a nice day.